Do you miss anything about being a pro professional football player? I miss the guys. I miss the locker room. We used to have a lot of fun. What was it like? <laughs> it's probably not the, it's probably not like the culture here at Dynamic Catholic. No, it's uh, a little different. Yeah, we talk a little differently. Um, you know, it's it's a bunch of alpha males who really do for the most part, right? You 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 surrender to the good of the team and the mission and you work extremely hard. I mean, you put your you really do push push yourself to the limits of physical and mental exhaustion. You have to. Uh, but then there's also those moments where you just get to kind of take a deep breath and relax and I don't know, you know, you make fun of each other. You've like any group, you've got some big characters, you know, some big personalities and I don't know. I just probably I'll probably never laugh as hard as I laughed in the locker room. There were some there were some good moments, some funny moments, but it was magnified because what we were doing was was uh, was so hard. I miss I miss that. You know, mm. you're never going to have that again. But grateful that I had it. If you could go back to draft day and do it all again, what would you do differently? Mm. I would try to, well, the quick, easy answer would be like, I would, I'd go back to my faith sooner because I think for those first four years, uh, I made it pretty hard on myself, you know, just having everything wrapped up into my performance and being a football player. Um, you know, that's a lot of stress and angst and probably did a lot of things to relieve the stress and angst that you know, I'm not really proud of. Um, just in fact, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like wasted time. Uh, but yeah, I would just say, don't, don't get, don't get so wrapped up and don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Just leave, just leave all that alone and just, just, just worry about doing the best that you can. Don't worry about how other people see you or, how you're portrayed or, or any of that. That would have saved me. I'd probably gotten better sleep at night if I'd have, if I'd have known that sooner. Did settling back into your faith make you a better football player? It did. It did because it wasn't, I wasn't living and dying with my performance every Sunday. And did you know that at the time or you know that now looking back? I knew that at the time. Wow. When I started coming back, it was gradually... I was always afraid. I was always afraid because there's, there's strong Christian guys all over. And I thought there was a part of me. I know I thought this. It was like, well, these guys, they're like, they're all in on God. You know, if I go all in on God, am I going to care less about football? Mm. And am I not going to work as hard? You know, am I not going to care as much? Like, I kind of thought the reason I'm successful is because I just care so much. Like, I'll just, I'll do anything I got to do. Right. Well, that's, that doesn't help you perform at your best. I mean, it actually creates all this stress and anxiety and it actually makes you, makes you worse. Um, as I came back, it was, it was just, I was freer. I didn't feel like there was all these burdens and expectation. Like I gotta do this. I gotta play at this level. It was just more like I was free, you know, sleep better, not quite as nervous before games. Um, and you get to enjoy it a little bit too, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, it definitely, definitely made me a better player.